Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, want to thank our Patreons for their support. Yes, we have a new Patreon. We want to say a huge thank you to Gray. Thank you so much for your support. You guys keep us going. Ex again, we have exclusive videos that go up there every week. And we have an X class, as you can see here. This was an X 3.3, I believe. 3.333. There you go, kids. Absolutely. It's it's directed away from the earth, so, you know, this one shouldn't be impacting us too much. But then, again, we've said that and had big impacts, and then we've had other ones that have been kind of duds. Well, we send our condolences to Kentucky State Senator Johnny Turner's family after he had died after plunging into an empty swimming pool on a lawnmower. This is just a bizarre accident um you know he was a republican from kentucky uh in the appalachians um which of course you always get you just wondering uh accidents do happen but uh, again in these times you never know that's that's a pretty rough odd accident it is it is um uh, i don't n know <laughs> It's just weird. Again, uh, we send our condolences. We do send our condolences. And unfortunately, so many people who might be trying to speak up and do the right thing are silenced. And it might not even be from this realm. It might be, you know, someone jumping in from another realm. I mean, this is so horrible. I, I feel so bad for him. But uh, w gosh, we just, you know, send the family our love and do our best to watch out for each other. You know, they're, the reality of beings that are non-visible and non-physical uh, to us influencing humans cannot be understated. No, it, it can't. That's a, that's a big thing. And Mike and I, we have that video, and I'll never forget it, that we made in uh, Mississippi. And we did not see on the camera. We were taking the video through camera, and it the gin did not show up until after we uploaded the video and one of our family members spotted it it was absolutely incredible that thing was right so close to us and what had happened was horrible but you know it's it's in our list of videos it's scary it's very real it's very real uh, again uh the demonic forces on this planet uh, could not be understated New sensors deployed to monitor Mount Adams following a spike in earthquake activity. These um, quakes uh, have been ongoing for over a month now. So, you know, Mount Adams, this is in exactly the area where we were um, getting the message uh, for the guides to look at. And when you saw volcanic activity uh, going in the Pacific Northwest, then it would we would know that we're very close to the time uh, when the war would break out in, in earnest. Um, you know, again, sometimes we'll get comments uh, from people that will say things like, "Why, why do you cover all this when all it does is lower frequency?" Well, I think it saved lives. In fact, I know it saved lives. Covering the news like this has saved people's lives um, from us just talking about these events so we're always about saving people's lives we've had people that have said you know that they've changed plans they they were going to go do something and they decided not to and then it's an area that was hit um impacted very hard whether it's hurricanes floods uh, or other events so you know we just listen to what the guides want us to get across and they do want us covering the events. Can these covering these events lower frequencies? Uh, yeah, they can cause uh, some fear, but at the same time, they can save lives. And so, you know, again, this is our purpose: is to awaken those that are kind of sleepwalking uh, or are not fully aware of what's happening at the bigger picture and and how things are going. And we try to always share this uh, instead of you know, basically I ignoring those that are just starting to wake up to the situation. You know, I think some people, when they're on an awakening journey, they do um, possibly get stuck in an area where 
they're being told, okay, if I don't look at this thing, then it cannot happen. And unfortunately, that is not true. We are all in this boat together. Maybe individually, you might be able to not look at something. Therefore, for you, it's not happening. But we, Mike and I, this is our this is our mission. It's our purpose. It's our purpose to spread our information out far and wide so that we do reach people. I mean, you can never ignore your calling. If You can try to ignore it, but it's just going to keep hollering at you. Absolutely. And yeah, there are channels out there that are telling you, don't worry, everything's going to be fine uh, tomorrow. Or don't worry, all the Draco have been eradicated or all the reptilians have fled it's not the case <laughs> it's just not the case and it's not going to be um just you know over and snap of the fingers no we we have some tough years ahead i do think we can change timelines but again um we just simply tell it like we see it and what we feel and we don't sugarcoat things for for views and we and we don't distort things for views uh, again, we just simply share uh, what we see. And, and what I do think we have ahead of us are a very challenging, maybe three or four years. Um, and, you know, I do think that's actually an improvement over the way the timeline was. Uh, so I do think that the awakening is happening. And people are starting to understand that everything has been so telegraphed this article right here is relatively new, but this has been being talked about for over 10 years now. The fact that there's a massive ocean underneath the, uh, the crust. It's in the crust. It has more water than on the surface. Some sources say perhaps three times as much water is in the crust than is on the surface in the oceans. Well, if you had a technology that could trigger and, and it, you know, just very rudimentary, uh, exciting molecules through frequency could absolutely cause an expansion and a rising uh, of the ocean of waters that are literally locked up in the crust to the surface. Then you may get that mud flood scenario that we've been talking about and that is starting to really dawn on people that there's something really big at play. Again, you know, um, we don't get that and and we're just sharing what because i see the comments i try to look at as many comments as possible well we don't get that nibiru is coming back in and going to affect the motion of the inner planets um, what we have gotten from the guides is it cannot come any closer than it is currently which is uh, outside the orbit of neptune so it's not going to come any closer. It, it did in the past, and it did cause cataclysm, and that has scarred uh, humanity's consciousness. And it is in our DNA memory as we look at heavy flooding in Saudi Arabia. But we don't get that the Planet X system is incoming and is going to cause these problems. We also don't think it's just a, a 12,000 or 24,000 year cycle either. We think this is just planned. This is technological. There are natural cycles to it. And we're, again, we're, we're leaving a Kali Yuga. So those are very real uh, cycles. And when you look to the Sahara, uh, it was green. And in fact, you can see these big lakes, which n no longer exist. They're on maps from like 500 years ago, 500 years ago that show this. Five, six hundred years ago, maps that show the Sahara being very, very different than now. This is um, something to take note of. It wasn't 12,000 years ago or even 6,000. Um, it was much, much recent. And so these these redos that they've told us about, you know, those members of the few have said, oh, we're going to have a great reset. And we've talked about a, a new order of the world. They've, they've telegraphed this. And yet, you know, really, in reality, it's just a matter of time before they are out of power. But it does take time. And I know nobody wants it to take years. We all want it to be done with right away. We want that knight on a, on a white horse to come in and just do all our work for us. But you have big, big damage going on to all sorts of the food production cycle 
as you see here, Valencia, Spain, uh, 3,700 acres of cocky and citrus fruits destroyed by hail. Add to that all the citrus that was destroyed in Florida. I saw some sources saying 70% of the citrus crops in Florida were damaged by the two hurricanes. Add into the damage done uh, again by the hurricanes in Georgia. Um, it's just one thing on top of the other. Everything that you see happening, and here you have floods and landslides. This is in Romagna, Italy. Again, vehicles being washed away. This is all over the world. This is a global thing. This is all over the world, at least our section of the world. I should clarify that again. The section that humanity uh, is able to access. It's all over, and it is all hitting the food uh, production. And here we have Alaska is flooding big time, too, all the way up in Alaska. So we went from Spain to Italy to the desert in Saudi Arabia. Here again, Alaska. We go over to Azerbaijan. So, you know, this area over here, you see 306% of monthly norm in two days. This is not normal. This is not uh, carbon-based <laughs> climate change. Again, you know, they want to remove carbon. Why do they want to remove carbon? Why are they chopping down rainforest? Because oxygen is life. Oxygen is so key to everything about us staying healthy. And when we look to the giants of the past, part of the reason why there were giants and also everybody living a lot longer was the fact that there was a lot more oxygen. And here we go to South Africa. So you can see uh, another 3,000 people losing their homes in this area. At least 10 lives lost, Eastern Cape. Every corner of the globe is getting hit with these massive, crazy uh, flooding situations. Everywhere, everywhere. And it, it's really very, very strange. Now, what I, what my mind keeps going back to, and, and I, I cannot give a play-by-play -play explanation of how this occurred, but everyone uh, is familiar with uh, Into Thin Air and that information he got where the the buoys were recording just some enormous amounts of, of water changes. I mean, enormous amounts. I kind of have a feeling what I picked up is that there was a some kind of a technology or a spaceship or something that they were reusing to mess with that water, to do something with that water. And this could very well be it. This could be that purpose that he picked up and that that technology was doing just to get this water to act the way it's acting. Over to the Philippines where we have a tropical storm uh, costing at least 24 people their 3D existence, displacing 382,000 plus uh, so again, this is all over, and here we have 1.5 million evacuating ahead of a cyclone, Cyclone Dana, uh, landfall in India. Five reportedly lost after widespread floods also over in India. You know, the point is, it's every continent, really, besides Antarctica, of course. And we have heavy snowfall already up in Turkey, up to 20 inches deep. You know, this is the other thing, the extremes. Uh, it's, it's really been extreme. Now, there's been an awful lot of what they call asteroids, as you have one impacting the Earth over the eastern Pacific Ocean. Tenth predicted Earth impactor on record where they said this one's going to come and impact, and it did. Third time so far this year, so it was relatively rare. Not the case anymore. Lake Erie Fireball leaves a glowing trail all over the U.S. Now, what are we really seeing? Are these all just rocks? And you can see how far this was uh, seen all over. Well, was this one event or a series of events? There's always uh, this meteor shower, that meteor shower. Just like Starlink satellites, they cover a lot of trails of what's actually ships. In the last 60 days, 41 asteroids passed between the Earth and the moon. Yeah, and he says, how many do we see coming? Not one, zero. Well, again, we had that one impact that they predicted. 
So you have a lot of um, near-Earth objects coming in. And there's a lot of people sharing their stories. And, you know, you have a lot of, you have the officials basically again saying, oh, it's all disinformation going on about the uh, lack of a response or apparently the opposite of anything we would call helpful with the response from that agency that begins in an F and ends in an A. And these people share their stories. The business owner in Asheville lost her home and business. No help, no help at all. But billions going to death and destruction in Ukraine. You know, this is what the system prioritizes. And yes, we can be very, very frustrated with it. Um, uh, again, we have a lot of friends, firsthand friends, that we're still, you know, texting and calling on a regular basis. This is what we're seeing. You know, they're saying that the story there is so much worse than what most people know. And when you get a little blip like this, you know, just saying how, you know, everything is gone and there's no help coming. No help from, well, the only help is coming from actual average people. You know, again, like you and me and all of us, it's not coming from where it should be coming from. And then I got to wonder, too, because we, we saw Roswell. Now, Roswell is in New Mexico, which is one of the four corner states. They had huge flooding event there, too. And then we saw over in the Appalachians, the Asheville, Tennessee, um, western uh, North Carolina, eastern Tennessee events. And then we see this, the smackover formation, you know, this white gold in Arkansas. You know, I don't wish it, um, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if there's some sort of major event up in Arkansas in this area that could be similar uh, to, again, allow things to be uh, mined without having to purchase properties. Yeah, it's definitely something to keep an eye on and a concern. And, you know, this thing, uh, we heard about this thing that happened to some very close friends of ours, and they were um, looking for insurance on their home. And uh, the insurance company had a very curious question. They said, well, we temporarily... Uh, have this on a freeze and we temporarily cannot provide insurance and and they said do you is there a is there a hurricane coming you know because they said this is abnormal um, and it was just all very curious that the insurance companies just happened to put things on hold on freeze and I do believe it's because they are receiving information somehow some way from an entity that knows what's going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, in anywhere in this yellow zone, just be aware of that possibility as well. And just prepare as best as you can. Keep putting out the positive vibes. But again, prepare at the same time. And this is over in Siberia. There's so much hidden in Siberia. It would boggle the mind. And there's a lot of monolithic walls and structures. And again, there's so few people living out in this area. There's footprints of giants over here. As you can see, this man standing next to some of these blocks. Who really put this together? Was it part of the Tartarian Empire? Was Tartarian Empire? What was it exactly in reality? Uh, mud flood. We live in a post-apocalyptic world. I think, again, this, this can happen um, much more often than what we think. It, I don't think uh, it has to do, maybe there's a peak with the geomagnetic um, cycle, but, and of course the sun's in an 11 and a half year cycle, and yeah, at the same time, no, this there's technologies in play. We, we've seen the declassified technologies in some cases there's other that we'll never get full acknowledgement of this is seattle washington in 1907 as you can see clearly it's it's one city being placed upon where the old city was this happens time and time and time again and you know you can look all around the world and we find this we find this in europe we find this in asia we certainly find this in the americas too it, it was it was an ongoing thing that I think maybe there's peaks over in certain areas, like, say, when we look to North America, 
uh, for instance. It, maybe North America was one of the more recent places compared to the history that we have in Europe. But it's, it's an ongoing thing. It's an ongoing thing. And it's also about keeping uh, humanity in the dark in so many ways. There's so much to all this. There's no way you're going to make a door this big just for ego and then place a bar up at the top. I mean, it, you know, it's beyond belief that you have people that say, well, this is just, you know, it's just for grandeur. Oh, it's just for ego and fluff. Why do you have a bar all the way at the top that nobody could reach? Mm. Uh, yeah, ego. I mean, it's a nice cover story. Sure, it works. You know, that person wanted a big door. They have a, a big energy. It's a nice cover story. That's what I got to say about that. And here you see a dinosaur tail, perfectly preserved in amber with feathers. Whoa, that's pretty cool. So, you know, and this is a, a different video that we'll be putting together in, in its entirety, but dinosaurs or dragons and i don't understand why some people can say there were no dinosaurs there was only dragons or say dragons are myth and legend there were no dragons but there were dinosaurs there were both <laughs> all kinds of stuff guys yes i mean why does it have to be one way or the other this is where again getting the left against the right it gets you blind because as long as they could keep you blind uh, they could keep humans guessing as to what human potential is. And it's a lot more than what they tell us. Look at this guy. Look at this youngster going down that stream. He is having a good time. He's probably been doing that since he was two. Yeah, that looks absolutely fun. And what a beautiful backdrop. My God, that's beautiful country. I don't know. Maybe that's northern Idaho. Or maybe it looks it, like it. It could be. It looks like where Cindy was growing up and uh, floating the log on down the stream. I bet you he's done that a lot of times. Look at this guy. Look how he blends in. See how fun nature is. It's just absolutely beautiful, stunning. And give yourself a minute today. Go outside. Admire Miss Mother Nature <laughs> and realize the magnificence of her energy and you'll be rewarded. Make some friends along the way. Indeed. As always, guys, thanks for your support. Source, bless, and namaste. Namaste.